advanced scientific calculator performs basic arithmetic calculations, memory calculations, fraction calculations, percentage calculations, scientific function calculations, and statistical calculations. This calculator operates in eight modes. You can perform the statistical calculations by adding data into statistical register. This is sigma plus. You press a number and you add that to the statistical register. So then, in any normal calculation, this is how the normal calculations are performed. So to clear off everything and come back to the normal mode, you press a C. To just clear the screen, you press C. Then calculation using degrees uh, is by default. Then you want to change the radian, you want to change to grad. That's how you can do. To fix the number of decimal points, say 5 decimal point, you press fix and you press 5. So that's what it is, how it is done to and inverse. So that's how it is done. So to sp specify the number of significant digits uh, in scientific calculations, you specify press signs and you specify a number, a single number. So this is how the calculator operates in various modes. So to clear off everything. So let me then familiarize you with the various keys to add to save something to the memory, to add something that is already present in the memory, in case there is nothing present in the memory, and you say, uh, type a number and say memory plus, that is going to save the data to the memory. This is to subtract something from the memory. This is to read the memory. This is to clear the memory. Then, uh, uh, as you discussed before, sigma plus is to add something to the statistical register and sigma c is to clear everything from the statistical register to to uh, make a hyperbolic function calculation this is what you do and these two left and right parentheses those are to specify or the override precedence in case you would like to override the precedence so this is change sign to change the sign of a number okay so now this calculator is also called an infix calculator because it uh, assumes the natural precedence of arithmetic operators. If uh, parentheses are specified, the, then we override the precedence using the parentheses as in any um, arithmetic expression. Now let's start with some basic arithmetic functions. Um, plus 4.5 minus 53. That's what we get. So now 56 times negative 12 divided by negative 2.5. That's what we are doing. Okay. Now 2 divided by 3 times 10 to the power 20. This is how it is. So 7 times 8 minus 4 times 5 that's what it is then 6 divided by we are saying 4 times 5 that is what it is okay then let's put the parenthesis to work 2 times parenthesis start 7 plus 6 times parenthesis start 5 plus 4 and okay now let us perform this is the pi 4 this is the mix more frax 4 divided by 3 times pi times 5 cube this is what it is so this is the volume of a sphere now let us perform some um, the power 4 this is what it is so to the power 1.7 to the power 4 that's what we get so now 1.7 to the power 4 that's what we get okay 
So now let us perform some uh, memory calculation. Say 5, you want to save that to the memory. 6, you add, so that becomes 11. 3, you subtract, so that's what it becomes. To clear the memory, this is how it is. Next, let's take a look at some fractions. So 2 divided by 3 plus 4 divided by 5, so that becomes that, okay? So now 3, uh, 1, 4, plus 1, uh, sorry, 2, 3, so that's become that. So now, so we want to simplify something. That's how you simplify. Okay? We want to add something to that. Okay? Now, 1, 2, 3, we want to simplify. That's what it becomes. Let's perform a percentage calculation. 1500 percentage, uh, 12. That's what it is. Uh, now let us perform some scientific calculation. We'll start with sexagesimal functions, say uh, 14 degrees 25 minutes 36 seconds plus 12 degrees 23 minutes and uh, 34 seconds. That's what we get. So now let's say 1 degree 2 minutes and 3 seconds plus 4.56 so we get that number okay so now let us say 87 degrees 65 minutes and 43 seconds so we do sign of that close to 1 say 1 point two three we want to convert that into degree minute second that's how we do okay now let's clear up everything make it red so pi divided by six that's what it is now we do sine of that and we see point five now let us move everything to our degree mode sixty degrees fifty two minutes and 41 seconds. So cos of that is that's what. So now change of everything so let's go to grad. So in grad say, say 2 divided by 2 that's what it is. So cos minus 1. Okay 49. In rad, say rad to root two divided by two and cos minus one. That's what it is. Say we are in grad, so thirty five minus and ten. Okay, so Okay, say 45 degree to radian to grad. So we see little bit of loss of precision. That is that's natural. So now let us calculate some hyperbolic function. So 3.6. That's what it is. So inverse is that. So now let us perform some log calculations. 1.23. This is base 10 again. So 90 natural log is this your 64 log divided by 4 uh, log 10 sorry 64 log 10 divided by 4 log 10 so that's what we get okay so now let's point 4 to the power 10 plus 5 times 3 minus e to the power so that's what we get 2 
to the power 3 that's what we get so e to the power 10 is 10 e to the power y okay now let's do some uh, cube root square roots etc say square root plus 3 square root times pi square root so that's what it is say 5 cube root plus 27 minus uh, cube root so that's what we get so 1 2 3 plus 30 square so that's what it is so 1 divided by say 1 by 3 minus 1 over 4 so that's 12 <clears throat> now permutation 8 permutation uh, so now let us uh, perform some uh, scientific calculations set 2 sorry science 2 3 that's what we see so now let us clear up all that say 3 sorry fix 3 so 3 that's what we see now coordinate conversion now let us generate some random numbers so this is how random numbers are generated actually say we set up uh, three decimal points so 1.2345 and round that's how we actually um, round it to certain number of uh, decimal points so now let us perform some coordinate calculations set r is uh, 2 this is polar 60 degrees so that is basically uh, the value of x so now this is the value of the y so now let us convert from rectangular to polar say so 1 is, is the radius and theta is uh, root 3 so that's the uh, value and now the value of the r and now to get the theta the degree and this is actually we get if we change the radian that's what we will get so now let us perform some permutation calculation 7 uh, permutation 4 that's what we get and then 10 combination uh, 4 we get to 10 so let us perform some statistical calculations so say 55 s plus your 54 s plus 50, sorry and uh, 55 s plus 53 s plus 54 s plus so number of number number of uh, numbers we added to statistical register this is the variance this is the average arithmetic uh, average so this is the sum x this is the sample standard deviation uh, now this is sum square x okay so now to clear up everything this is what we do so now uh, we let us calculate some make some scientific uh, notation calculations e4 uh, times 2 so that's what it is uh, divided by 2 so inverse so as we can see this is a pretty powerful calculator this is again a scientific calculator that uh, performs the arithmetic operations that perform scientific operations statistical operations then uh, it uh, performs uh, parenthesis uh, operation you can use parenthesis to override precedence with this I would like to thank you very much for spending time to learn more about the advanced scientific uh, BlackBerry calculator